the plant hormone. Ethylene, role, site of synthesis and mechanism of action. Ethylene is a simple first identified gaseous phytohormone with multiple roles in the regulation of metabolism at cellular, molecular, and whole plant levels. It influences the performance of plants under optimal and stressful environments by interacting with other signaling molecules. The action of ethylene depends on its concentration in cells and the sensitivity of plants to the hormone. Major functions of ethylene Fruit ripening As they approach maturity, many fruits release ethylene. Unripe fruit, such as avocados, is stored in a sealed paper bag to accelerate ripening. The gas released by the first fruit to mature will speed up the maturation of the remaining fruit. During fruit ripening, ethylene stimulates the conversion of starch and acids to sugars. Flowering, in monoecious plants, Ethylene promotes the production of female flowers whereas gibberellic acid promotes male flower production. Triple response. Ethylene mediates the triple response, which makes the shoots of seedlings buried under debris grow short and wide and bend horizontally. This makes it possible for the shoot to push through the debris. Ethylene causes stem elongation in rice and other plants submerged in water by the breakdown of abscisic acid. Abscission Ethylene induces the abscission of leaves, fruits, and flower petals. When auxin levels decline, ethylene triggers senescence and ultimately induces cell death at the site of leaf attachment to the stem. A special layer of cells, the abscission layer, forms at the base of the petiole or fruit stalk. Before abscission occurs, nutrients are absorbed into the stem so they are not lost with the leaf. As the separation layer breaks down, without harm. The protective layer, which was reinforced with subrin, serves as a seal. Drought Management In drought conditions, the immediate response is the closing of stomata, see abscisic acid. However, because closed stomata prevent gas exchange, plants will die if the stomata remain closed for too long. Thus if the drought persists for too long, the plant will begin sacrificing certain areas by allowing the leaves or stems to die in localized regions. This process is regulated by ethylene, which can induce localized cell death under certain conditions. 6. Growth Ethylene stimulates horizontal growth and the swelling of the axis. It inhibits growth in the longitudinal direction. Gravity. It reduces the sensitivity to gravity. The stems become positively geotropic and the leaves, flowers and fruits undergo drooping or hanging down. Senescence speeds up the senescence of flowers and leaves. Apical dominance. It prolongs the dormancy of lateral buds and promotes apical dominance. Breaking dormancy. It breaks the dormancy of seeds, buds and storage organs. Site of synthesis. Ethylene can be produced in almost any part of a plant, but the main sites of production are the apical buds, stem nodes, ripening fruit, and senescing flowers. Mechanism of ethylene action. At a cellular level, ethylene can inhibit or promote cell division. It sometimes inhibits cell expansion. In other circumstances, it stimulates lateral cell expansion. 
The presence of ethylene is detected by transmembrane receptors in the endoplasmic reticulum, ER. The binding of ethylene to these receptors unleashes a signaling cascade that leads to the activation of transcription factors and the turning on of gene transcription.